going down, Commanders? Um, just a bit of bad news today. I know we had the big success with yesterday and the uh, the few guys that got banned. I wasn't just picking on one guy, by the way, guys. I was picking on the guy that was number one on the leaderboard using an, an abusing a fucking cheat. I don't care what tag, what sector he's in. If they use the cheats, they deserve to get banned. I just went for the number one on the leaderboard, found his base, took a video. That's it. Basically, that was me done with it. I don't didn't care who else was banned. I just want to bring into a. Uh, as you can see, I've got the video showing on the uh, what's it? But I, I just want to show something before you go and, and start jumping for joy and thinking PvP is over. I personally won't be gauging in PvP anymore. For me, kicks I haven't done enough to make to make me believe they're ch trying to change, trying to make the game better. If you actually watch this video, bear with me for one second. I'll just play it. I've got it muted. But there's something I noticed that a lot of people overlooked. I'm going to pause it right there. That's all you need to see. What do you see still there? I still see the dropships. So they've banned the guy for the dropship hack. I'm going to quote, air quote even. But... The dropships are still in the game. The, the, as you can see, his little in, uh, mini account that he's using, using them dropships on, because he's using two mini accounts to do this. He's not actually using his account. He believed that he wasn't going to get banned because it isn't his account. I will get further down the road. I will explain how this can be a bad thing. So the dropships wasn't removed. Basically, they banned the guy, but the dropship, dropship uh, bug, glitch, cheat, Someone's found a coding for it, put it into the game and giving it, probably selling it for 25 bucks a month. Um, that hasn't been removed. The actual code for the dropship. I don't believe Kickstarter will be able to find the dropship codes to remove it. So as you can see, you will see in a minute, if I've just let the video play, he jumps out. So that removes the dropships. I think he was trying to save his own skin with a mini account. I think he shit his pants and quickly jumped out. Um, so the dropship problem hasn't stopped. So why am I going to do PvP? Tell me that. I, I, I just not. It, it, the, it's a persistent problem. And it's not just the dropships you've got to worry about. There is other videos floating around. I do not own the, copy of the, the, the videos themselves. So I won't be showing them on here. But you can go onto any of the uh, War Commander pages. You will see the videos posted. Basically, the videos are showing that they don't even need the dropships. All, all they need... Is a, a, a platoon around their base, and there's a there's a a code, a hack, a glitch, a bug, where they can make the units untargetable. So the the actual t when it, let me click, let me get the game up for a second. When you actually click the, I'll show you in in the game. It's all grayed out sort of thing. So there's another persistent problem. So what has, what have kicks I actually done other than give the 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 players that were caught using it a couple of days worth of band or maybe even 12 hours 24 hour band they actually haven't done nothing you know it's a slap on the wrist naughty boy don't do that again so basically when you go to hit one of the, the players but uh platoons so for instance this one this guy here when you click it that's grayed out and that's grayed out you can't use either of these two buttons and it's across the board it isn't just one clan one alliance it's across the board there's there's always bad users in, in every clan, every alliance. It's not all of them. I'm not going to try to point fingers at every single one. That's why I didn't mention the clan that that guy was with last night because probably the majority of the clan are playing decently. But when you click this and you can't click these two, that's there's something not right. But Kixire, once again, they think banning people is going to make us sing for the Kixire and they believe that we're going to... Well, I'm, I'm definitely not. That's one thing I'm not doing. My credit card stays shut. It's in my wallet. And that's where it's going to stay. Because I just I just see that the dropships were still there. They banned the guy and didn't ban his dropships. So it's, it's kind of... Um, makes no sense, does it? it? It just doesn't make no sense whatsoever. And I believe this is the tip of the iceberg. I don't think the dropships are the only problem in the game. I'm not silly. I see, I see other things going on. I see people posting. I also get a few messages off. I suppose you can call them bad actors, but in a way, they're, they're passing the information on so I can pass it on, you know. And they're, they're all involved with it. And there's hundreds, if not thousands of players involved with all this shit. Paying, paying their 20, 15, 25 pound a month. There was a one going around where you can pay a one-time $150 
up front fee and get all the all, all the action to the, all the cheats and hacks. Whether that was a scam or not, I don't know. But there's bigger issues, much much bigger issues, and and a, a few band bases isn't gonna keep me quiet. The, the kicks I need to do a lot more, and especially knowing I've been told through the grapevine, I don't know how true it is that it's a slap on the wrist for these players. It's a couple of days banned. Because they do coin, if you spend five bucks or more in the game, cheat away, you'll get a slap on the wrist and you'll be allowed back in the game in in, in from 12 hours to seven days, somewhere around that region. And it just pisses me off. It really pisses me off that Pixar thinks this is okay. They're, they're trying to appease the players to get us to spend in Warpath, basically. And that's what I'm seeing. They're like, what can we do to, to, to convince these guys? Or, and, it, and it's the, the, the laziest way of doing it they possibly could. Because if you watch that guy's base, he's still got the fucking dropships around him. Although he's banned, he's still got the dropships. And then you've got the players running around with no dropships around their base, just one, two, five in five spots around their base where you can't target them. So to appease to appease me, they've got to go a hell of a lot further. I need to see that these these bugs, these hacks, these the, whatever they're using, these codes, scripts, whatever you want to call them, I need to see that they're they're not in the game no more. When I see a guy banned and and and, and he's still got a dropship around his base, like what the fuck? And I was excited yesterday. I got to hold my hands up. That's why I got to that sector he was in, and I uh. Took a quick video of it because it was fun, but it it's meaningless if Kicks I ain't going to go all the way with it. This this appeasing the players to try to make us coin is is bullshit, absolute bullshit in my eyes, and it's a shame. We ain't got no one with any fucking balls at Kicks Eye. They all shrivel up. Oh, this guy spends five bucks. We can't fucking ban him permanently. Nah, fuck, fuck that. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you no longer, guys. It's embarrassing by kick's eye. Especially seeing that the dropships are still there. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm going to leave you with it, guys. You, you, you're your own people. You decide where you want to spend your money. I'm just telling I'm just venting out, lad, basically. I'm telling you where I am. They need to improve vastly before I start putting money back into this game. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.